TAB World Headquarters, this is T.A. Barnhart with another TAB report. Bandwagons are tricky. If you jump on quick enough, you'll look like one of the smart people, one of the cool kids. You'll have fun. A little late, and you'll look like, well, like someone jumping on a bandwagon. Lame. And then there's politics. When a politician jumps on a bandwagon, it's not for reasons of conviction. Those who believe in something are already working on it. They don't need no stinking bandwagons. Opportunists jump on bandwagons. In D.C., Senator Jay Rockefeller is using Rupert Murdoch's disgusting criminal enterprise in Britain as an opportunity to look into Fox News and whether Murdoch's minions have committed similar crimes in our country. I dig it, of course, but it's pure bandwagon an opportunity to be taken advantage of. And it's not like Fox and Murdoch haven't been asking for it with their 10 plus years of unethical pseudo-journalism. Here in Oregon, everyone knew that someone would jump on the Cayley's Law bandwagon. Given the publicity and the national outrage at the verdict, and the fact that this bandwagon started about three seconds after the verdict was announced, this was inevitable. The question, of course, was, who would be the most eager to display the necessary political sleaziness, the callowness of soul, and a desperate willingness to be seen as an opportunity whore? State Representative Sean Lindsay, you're our winner. Representative Lindsay, of course, knows that the one thing necessary to stop child abuse, especially lethal abuse, is the lack of a requirement to report a child's death in a timely manner. By passing Cayley's Law, Adults who seek to harm kids will be stopped in their brutality by the simple fact that they have but a single hour to enjoy their crime before calling the authorities. Careless parents, sucking down cheap beer and vodka and smoke and crack, will have to clean up their act knowing they only get a couple of days to party their brains out before they have to make sure the kids are still locked in their rooms. And breathing. Substance abuse, poverty, mental illness, Victim of abuse? All those lame-ass excuses? Cub Bluey. Gone. The magic of Cayley's Law is all we need to end the plague of violence and neglect against children. Thank God for Sean Lindsay's courage to get in front of this witless, emotion-driven campaign to ignore the root causes of abuse and his craven willingness to propose a law that has no possibility of being enforced, much less protecting a single child. We will, instead, have our own version of the hottest and most useless law in this country right here in Oregon. How cool is that? Hell, we don't even have to call it Cayley's Law. Oregon has plenty of kids who've been harmed by adults. Let's name it after one of them. After all, with laws like these, we'll have plenty more abused, lost, and murdered kids for years to come and we can wave at them from our happy little bandwagon. For the Action Tab, this is T.A. Barnhart. Goodbye.